good afternoon people everyone's blessed um that's what i touch on some of the some of the things that got left in the comments regarding the bkb contender um, one of the comments was you know that we're going to get vulnerable people in the bkb contender no nope, that isn't going to be the case there's going to be no vulnerable people in the bkb contender there's people from all different backgrounds all fighting styles 10 fighters different backgrounds different fighting styles each individual fighter will be undergoing a mental health assessment before entering bkb contender you know there's a lot of things that we've got to put into practice of people one of the comments is well when's the show going to be happening i thought you said this date so we'll give a date that's reasonable which is august that gives us enough time obviously to get the risk assessments in place for a location you know um, entertainment insurance in place um, mental health assessments in place for each individual fighter you know it's, there's a bit more work to doing it than just you know getting 10 fighters putting them together and executing the project it doesn't always he's all right keep going it doesn't always um it's not as plain sailing as that like saying we've got to get it right first time and obviously as you know mental health especially in men um in all people but in men at the moment you know it's quite you know it's quite common so our job or my job has been you know as being a company director and the ceo of the company is to make sure that the safety of the fighters and their well-beings first because without no fighters there's no show and i want happy fighters you know i don't want fighters that are going through problems so that's why each individual fighter as i've just stressed before will be getting a mental health assessment before entering the show if they fail the mental health assessment then they have to go you know and you know we've got to put their their safety first because obviously you know it's a big commitment living in all in one house for like eight weeks training competing fighting with your emotions all over the place and that's pretty much it i just wanted to touch on that so that answers some of the questions that was left in the comments you know people saying oh we're going to be this and we're going to be that so this is this is a bit different from any other bare knuckle platform at the minute because it's a reality tv we're putting together with the combat a bit like the ufc type content no it's not the ufc you know we're not saying we're ufc or anything like that but it's that kind of concept and um, it's never been done before, so it's the first of its kind. You know, a lot of work's getting done behind the scenes, still getting done and been done behind the scenes to get to where we are now. And like you're saying, we will be executing on the 1st of August. And that'll run for the, till the last week, till I think it's the 24th or 26th of September. And that'll be eight weeks. So that answers the questions about, you know, the well-being of the fighters in terms of mental health and stuff like that. You know, and I think it's important that any other promotions out there, when they've got fighters coming on these shows to do mental health assessments and things like that. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So that was answers the questions about the mental health side of things and the fighters and so forth. But like I said, the content, a lot of content will be coming soon. People who do want to watch the BKB Contender, all the content for the actual Contender, when we're live as well and when we're running, will be on the BK, BKB Contender channel on YouTube. Um, it'll be streamed on a few other platforms as well um, So yeah, that's where you can watch the BKB Contender Alright guys, hope everyone keeps it blessed, keeps it moving, keeps it positive Stay lucky